What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do ducting in Revit, how to create those ducts that we all know that we have to have in our buildings but not many people know how to model them in Revit so that's something I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now I'm not going to be going all that much in depth on how ducting works as I'm just an architect and I'm not really an MEP specialist so I'm going to leave that to mechanical engineers. I'm just going to be showing you the basic tools for creating ducting in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download the project files that I'm going to be creating in this video or if you want to get access to some of my advanced courses, I suggest you check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. And here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be uh, using the mechanical template first just to show you the difference and some of the adjustments we'll have to make in order to be able to do ducting in a regular architectural template. Now I'm going to go here with a mechanical template. Now the reason why I'm going to be doing ducting in architectural templates is because uh, usually mechanical templates are something that uh, MEP engineers are going to use and you would link in a file and then uh, you would basically uh, use that LinkedIn uh, architecture file to do your ducting and all of your MEP work and I've got a tutorial on how to do that and I'm going to leave it in the description of this video but for now let's see how just creating ducting works so you just go over here to uh, you go to the systems tab and then you find duct and maybe we can go into 3d for this one yeah let's go here to duct and it's really simple you just set the level you set the width and height of your ducting if you have a rectangular ducting and maybe you can use uh, some of these round ducts or the oval ducts but for now let's uh, let's just use the rectangular uh, ducts. So you just go over here, you zoom in, you're at level 1, here you can give it an offset and let's give it an offset of just 1000 millimeters and you just start placing ducts. So you just go like that and you're done. So that's how you create the ducting uh, within the mechanical template but it's a bit different in the architectural template and the reason why I want to show you how to create the ducting in architectural templates is in a lot of cases you just want to have it in place just as a representation where ducting would go even though that's something that's going to be uh, done later on by mechanical engineers but this is just for architects just to know how to add uh, ducting in architectural templates just to kind of show, show ducting make a more complex Revit project. So I'm just going to be canceling this project uh, out and I'm just showing you how simple it is in the mechanical template. So let me just exit out of this template and now let's go into the architectural template and let's try the same thing. So let's go again to the 3D view, let's go to systems, let's go to duct and we have the same setup. Let's just do 1000 millimeters for this one as well. And if I start modeling, as you can see, I can do one duct. And then if I want to do the second one, okay, we cannot click. I'm clicking, but nothing's happening. And if I go straight, okay, it can go straight, but I cannot really create uh, any curves. And the reason for this is because we don't really have any of those uh, elements uh, that that go over here. So we don't uh, have any uh, of these duct fittings uh, that are going to uh, make it able to kind of turn our ducting. So in order to make it uh, ducting functional within the architectural template, we have to load in some families and make some adjustments. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this and let's go to duct and let's uh, just go with the rectangular duct as that's the, the one we used and let's just place one straight element. And again, as I said, we can't really do any more. Uh, I can click as long as I want, but as you can see by that uh, little cross sign, I cannot create it. So what we need to do is we need to load in some of these, uh, some of these duct fitting families. And for that, you can go just to just click there. And as you can see now, we're, we're getting this warning message that says that we don't have any loaded in, and would we like to load some in? And I'm just going to click yes uh, just to make this architectural template be functional for ducting in Revit. So you just go over here and you find metric and then you search for, let's see, duct, we have fittings, and then we need to go with rectangular because we're using this rectangular duct over here. Now let's see what we have. So we have all of these options and what I suggest you do, you load at least one in for each uh, each of these uh, kind of cases. So let's go with caps and uh, 
you can just select it and then you can see what you have here so you got this little 3d representation of that so you can just see what you're loading in so let's say we want to do this rectangular end cap so let's open that one up then cancel out of that then we can go maybe to insert to make it faster load family now the good thing about Revit uh, especially the latest versions is it remembers the last place you were when loaded loading families so you can just go back one folder and then go to the second one let's load in uh, these crosses so let's open that then let's go load family one folder back let's go with elbows now you have a lot of these options now usually uh, I suggest you go with the one with the shortest name because it's the one that has uh, like the simplest most default version so here I can go with method, method or uh, radius so I, I, I'm just going to go with radius. Uh, this elbow works probably the best for uh, my projects. Or maybe you can go with one of these like this. This is, as you can see, it doesn't have that radius. It's just on one side radius. So let's just go with the radius one, open that up. Let's go load family again. Go back one folder, go with for the next one. Uh, maybe go with, I don't know, go with this one. Load family, go back one folder. Let's try another one. Okay, so we have these uh, versions. Let's say, yeah, let's go with this one. It looks nicest. So again, I'm not a mechanical engineer. I'm just showing you what you have uh, on offer over here. So let's open this up. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with that one. Load in. Let's go with this one load family again back one folder okay here we only have one and we have only one more folder and let's see what we have over here okay this looks nice so let's go with that one okay so now once all of these are loaded in if we want to continue this duct so we go here to systems duct we go over here and as you can see it doesn't work why well those families are loaded in but they're not really associated to this uh, rectangular duct so to associate it we need to go here to edit type for the uh, the duct that we want to load in these fittings go edit uh, type and then here you have routing preferences and here you can adjust all of those uh, those duct fittings that you loaded in so for the elbow as you can see we loaded this rectangular elbow and we have a radius of 1 1.5 and 2 let's go with the smallest one then for these let's go with tap and let's uh, do something for this and just load one in for each of these now some of these you want uh, you, you don't have loaded in but that's okay we don't need those we need this one and this one as well so if I go OK, apply, OK, and now finally I can go into my duct tool and go just like this and there we go. We can finally create ducting in Revit architecture template. Now you're probably thinking, well, OK, that's nice. Uh, I can do it in one horizontal plane, but how do I make vertical ducting or something like that? Well, always for ducting, you can go ahead and create a section and then work with a section so maybe let's delete all of this so let's go in a lower level floor plan go with duct and let's say we want to create duct like this now you're probably thinking okay this is just a line the reason for that is because the detail level is set to coarse if you set it to fine as you can see now we can see all of the ducting so let's say we want to have ducting that looks like this and now we want to have some maybe some vertical element well, how do you do that? Well, for creating vertical elements, uh, you need to have a section, or the easiest way is to go with a section and then just open that section up. And again, you can't see anything because it's not it's at course, but when we set it to fine, we can continue modeling. Let's just extend this window a bit and then uh, let's go with systems, duct, and let's just continue over here like that. And as you can see, you can make changes, you can go all the way vertically down. So you can make pretty much any type of ducting. Now, uh, important thing, you cannot really do sharp angles. The right angle is most that Revit will allow you to do. So just keep that in mind when creating ducting like this. Also, uh, if I just exit out of this, maybe go into 3D. 
Okay, so this is what we've created. Okay, it looks really silly, but I just wanted to show you all of the options you have. So when you're playing around in your projects, you know how to do this in all cases. But let's say you want this to be uh, angled and you don't want to use the section, that's okay. You can just go over here and as you can see on both ends, it says uh, 1000 millimeters. So that's basically an offset. So if you just go over here, type in 2000, and as you can see now, it's kind of tilted. So we've got uh, some sort of an angle. Also, as you can see, these lines, these connections are at center points of these ducts. As you can see, it's in the center of this uh, end of the duct. And you can actually change that. So you just have this horizontal and vertical justification, and you can uh, set the horizontal uh, one to left or right. And as you can see, now it's over here. And let's just center it back. And the vertical justification, you can set it to maybe bottom, and now it's over here. But let's go with the middle because I think that's how it usually works for these uh, ductings in Revit. So that's how you make these changes. And also, you can uh, kind of change the uh, the dimensions of ducting. So let's kind of disconnect this like so. Let's go with another duct, uh, kind of starting from here. Let's maybe align it. So let's do the align tool and zoom, go over here, kind of like that, and let's align it vertically. So these are two uh, perfectly, these two are perfectly aligned, but let's make this one bigger. So let's make the width, I don't know, like 500. Okay, or maybe even 600. Let's do it kind of drastic. And then let's go back into level one. I'm going to select this one and go CS for create similar and then continue this off over here. And now let's just connect these two. And as you can see, now we have that, uh, that connection element over here. And uh, it's basically making this a bit wider. So if we go into 3D, yeah, as you can see, the ducting is a bit wider in this spot. So basically, that those are the, the basic tools for creating ducting. And that's how you adjust the architectural template so you can do ducting within the, your architectural template. So you don't have to wait for your MEP engineers if you just need to put in ducting so your project looks a bit more complex for your professor or something like that. Or you just want to make sure that you left enough room somewhere or you want to impress your client with the level of detail in your project, then there you go. That's how you create ducting in Revit inside of the architectural template. And those are all of the adjustments you have to make to this template to create this ducting. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this quick uh, kind of ducting for students in Revit tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.